Hey guys, it's Jeff from Smart Home Makers. So you've been out and about, you've either been to IKEA or you've been to Lidl and you notice they've got these smart plugs, but which one should you get? In this video, I'm gonna compare these two. I'm gonna show you the features, the differences, my opinions. We'll be using Home Assistant and a Combi 2 Stick to actually see how they perform. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Let's get going with opening up the IKEA Transfree Smart Plug. Packaging is quite simple, as you can see. It's just standard white box. You can actually see everything from behind here. I had this shipped to me as in current condition can't go to uh, the IKEA store itself. So let's open it up. Right, so we open it up here. We've got this cover we can get rid of. And here we have it. For the first time I'm touching this, you can feel a bit of weight, but it's not too a heavy, which is fine. Uh, form factor, I'm not a fan of this form factor. I like the smaller, the smaller it is, the better really in terms of these smart plugs. Um, it's a bit white, no other colors, and uh, sort of a pretty standard. I've noticed I can't see any manual switch. So it's something to consider. I don't think you've got it. And uh, it looks like you have an LED light here. This probably is for power. And pairing, let's see what else we get in the box. We have some a little booklet. So it looks like the button is sort of an optional extra, which you can purchase with probably this uh, smart plug. So a few things to consider is this is indoor only use. Temperature is zero degrees, 40 degrees. So that should be fine. No direct sunlight contact. Okay, so you have some of the technical data, if that's what you're interested in. Range, I think that's specific to their own gateway. So it's used Zigbee and we'll use a, a, a Zigbee gateway to actually pair it, not it's IKEA's own gateway. We've got all the information about the input and the maximum power. It's not much information here, um, pretty straightforward. So let's now compare it to Lidl's smart plug and see sort of the difference. We have the two products side by side now. On the right hand side, we have Lidl smart plug on the left hand side we have IKEA smart plug. So you can see there's different choice in terms of form factors. And uh, let's spin it around and let's look at it from a different perspective now. So if you're working with a very tight space, it actually might be better off to get the IKEA one. Because IKEA, as you can see, it saves a couple of inches compared to the little one. The little one, I purchased it for $7.99 and I've made a dedicated video with all of the Lidl's new smart home products. The IKEA one, I paid uh, eight pounds. I think it retails for 10 pounds in the UK, but because of the IKEA family, I got a bit of a discount, but then again, I have to pay two pounds for delivery. So an overall, a little bit more expensive than Lidl's option. They both have fuse, so you can change the fuse, should be a, a 13 amp fuse. So here you can see the specs actually compared between two. So the Silvercrest model, the one on the right, Lidl's model, supports pretty much the same uh, output. So we've got 220 and 240 volts, 50 hertz max for Lidl and 50 to 60 hertz max on uh, IKEA. So I've I haven't tested this to actually uh, stress test it out. But if you look at the watts, we've got 2,990 watts for IKEA and for Lidl we have 3,120 watts. But again, I'm not an electrician, so I'm gonna leave this to um, other people that are more expert actually test, stress test these smart plugs out. This has been out for around a year and this has been out maybe for a couple of weeks, at least in the UK, so maybe a month or two, maybe in Germany. The biggest difference, in my opinion, is this button over here. So the actual button to turn on and turn off, for me, it is a must have. The reason why is because if you want to turn this off and you don't have your phone, or you just don't want to do, you know, call one of the assistants, you have the option. And this is especially useful for people that visit your house that are not really used to your smart home. IKEA doesn't have that option built in. And actually, if you do want one of their buttons, you need to buy it separately. So that's going to be quite a big consideration, depending if you are likely going to be actually using the physical button to turn it off and turn it on. I think you see the difference here on this extension reel of, between the two smart plugs. So the good thing is you can actually, it's 
have them both side by side on this model. Here it is, you can see over here, the Slema IKEA's version compared to Lidl's and how much it actually sticks out. I would say that is like an inch or so. And probably a couple of inches here lengthwise between Ikea's and Lidl's. Let's go and see it on a real socket and let's see if how it looks. Right, so coming in the room here, you can see the two smart plugs are in a double UK standard socket. You can see the difference there. You can see Ikea's one longer. They both fit on a standard socket, which is great. And there's actually plenty of space between the two, so they're not actually bumping into each other. So I can see aesthetically, I'd still do prefer Lidl's one, but I think it, it depends. And our color is slightly different. There's a different tone of white. It just feels a bit more um, budget, the uh, IKEA's version. So the big question is, does this actually work outside of the box? So I've got a uh, phone charger here. I'm gonna plug it into the first one in the Lidl's smart plug. I'm gonna plug it into my phone and I'm gonna turn the power on. Okay, so battery is not charging. So let me tap on this uh, button here and start it charging. So out of the box, no configuration, this guy is going to work. So let's try IKEA's. So our phone is not charging at the moment. Plug it in, in, plug it in. Okay, okay, it's in. Now we're gonna turn the socket on. And this is charging too. You can see the LED here light. Let me move the camera slightly. There you go. So you can see the LED light here. This sort of means it's on. On Lidl's one, you have the indicator above. So let's get ready to pair this all into Home Assistant. I use Decons and a Combi 2 stick. If you want to find out more about that, I'll link another video I made where I actually went in a little bit more detail about it. I'm in Home Assistant now in the Decon page. What we need to do first, we need to factory reset the IKEA smart plug. So I've got this paper clip here and there's a little hole right on this at the bottom of the uh, smart plug. So just connect it up tap on it and then wait until it goes into pairing mode. So, so it made a click click sound and the, I don't know if you can see this because it's not focusing properly, but the uh, light is actually blinking at this stage. So go to your connected lights and add new lights and let's start the search. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so it just popped up now. We have the on and off plug-in unit Vendor IKEA of Sweden, uh, so all of this has been paired up and picked up properly. So now let's get the little one sorted too. Now I'm gonna connect up the little smart plug into Home Assistant, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's quite simple, you don't need any tools. You just press on the button for five, six sec seconds. And now you should see it flashing. And let's just go and add new lights. Same process as IKEA's really. And once it gets picked up, we should be ready to go to test these two in Home Assistant. So as you can see, it actually found the unit, it's called it the on and off plug unit eight. Recognize it as Heyman in terms of the vendor, so it's all set up. And now let's actually test them out and see how they react in Home Assistant. Okay guys, we're back into Home Assistant. I've created a dashboard for this little experiment. We've got our two smart plugs over here and we've got phone chargers attached to them. We have two iPhones, my old iPhone and my new iPhone, and they're both connected up and they've got power and you can see they're all charging. Now, thing to note with this charging battery feature, you need to have, it's really good to have your Home Assistant app open if you're doing some sort of experiment and you want fast updates. So I'll give you an example. So let me take the iPhone 7, if I unplug it, not charging, and I plug it again, charging, and you can see the same response coming from the other phone. Not charging, charging, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're gonna turn them both off at the same time, and we're gonna see which phone switches off first, 
and we're going to see if there's any difference, any significant difference between these two smart plugs in terms of controlling them. Now, let me get this right. So the iPhone 12 is connected into the IKEA smart plug. So the iPhone 7 is connected into the little smart plug. So let's see if there's any difference between the two. Okay, ready to go. Three, two, one. Okay, both instant. iPhone 7 first, iPhone 12 second. So iPhone 7 is connected into the little smart plug. To be fair, the clicking sound seemed at the same time. So it might be a difference in the actual update of the battery status. But I'm going to try the reverse. I'm going to try and turn it on and see if both uh, update quickly. So three, two, one. 12 first, seven second. So I think in terms of the smart plugs, they're instant. We can try turning one off at a time. So we can turn IKEA off. The clicking sound was immediate as you can as you heard and the non-charging took a little bit longer to update and let's try a little see if we can hear the uh, the sound yeah so I have no issues at all with the performance of these two so in a couple of weeks we we'll compare these two smart plugs with another three smart plugs and we'll see which one is the ultimate smart plug for you if you're interested in that sort of content, then like and subscribe down below and let me know in the comment section which smart plug do you think we should compare these against.